Welcome back to our tutorial. Um, this tutorial is all about installing a virtual server on the VMware Workstation Pro um, that we uh, 12, which we did a previous one where we actually installed the VMware Workstation uh, itself. So now we're going to create a virtual server. So first of all, things to check to make sure we've got to hand. Uh, make sure on your um, drive, your RAID drive, you've where we created the iOS folder, they have all the images that you want to install. So you're going to be creating more than one virtual server on this machine. To make sure you have all the um, disk image files um, um, stored here. Um, it's much more easier to install um, VM um, virtual servers from an image file. It's because you you also got the speed of the hard drive, so it will install much more faster than that your DVD drive. In this case, we've got the Windows 2016 server on as a DVD here, and also we've got as an image file on the um, hard drive itself. So I'm going to use the image file because it's going to um, run a lot much faster than the actual DVD drive will, will do. And that makes things run, that makes it gets you things doing much more quicker. So make sure everything you need is on here. Create a text file with um, all your uh, keys in there so you don't have to go hunt for DVDs, you don't have to go hunt for serial keys when you do the actual install itself. So nice nice and easy. Be organized. Um, so right, let's fire up Virtual Workstation. As you can see, we've got no um, virtual servers running, so it's our first virtual server. So we click on File, oh, File, New Virtual Machine. And we just want to leave it as typical, we can go back and we can modify it afterwards. So it already detects the, D the DVD drive there, and it also says this, this Windows two Server 2016 been detected. So we're going to actually use the image file because it's much more faster. Um, select that, click Open, and this will also detect it as well. So there you go, it shows it's detected it as well. So we click Next, and then from here we need to install the uh, Windows key, and we can actually personalize it from this point as well, but um, I'm not going to personalize it too much. Um, I'm going to select the, the version we want, because this one we can install data center, data center core, standard or standard core. Standard core basically means it installs everything apart from the Windows GUI, um, but we want the Windows GUI, so we can click on there. And the only reason why you do core, if you're really good with Windows, and you, you know all the command line base um, then it's good to install the core. Without the Windows um, GUI on it, it, I think it makes things run a little bit faster, but I'm used to the Windows are standard, and I'm not that very advanced to be able to learn everything by doing the install commands. That's just a different language to bloody learn. <laughs> so we installed, we're going to install the Windows key, and um, we'll um, process next to get this virtual server up and running. Once you've got your, your saw key installed, um, we're now going to create the very first virtual. So from here, virtual machine, you call it whatever you want to call it. I normally um, leave it as Windows Server 2016, so I know what, so I know what version servers on that virtual machine. And then I normally do hyphenate it, and I then name it what I'm going to call this. So we're going to call this um, file server. Okay. Um, and if you want to really get particular, you can actually call it something. Depending on what the company name is, I normally tend to do something like um, the, the initials of the company, um, virtual cloud, say for instance, and then I or, or I might go v, um, VMware, like VMware, and then I normally call it like FS for file server zero one or something like that. So I might just call it that. Okay. So this is the location. Like before, we we actually showed we wanted a default location. So when we did the virtual servers, always go to the same place. So here we've just confirmed the path for it, which is great. And server name, we like that one. And we then click next. Oh, okay, it's not allowing us to write there. So let's check why is that then? So D virtual machines. Click OK. Okay, click next. That has worked better. Okay, the virtual machine hard drive is stored uh, on more than one file, more than one files on the host computer. So here we can then say, right, okay, this is just going to be a. We're going to do this as a, just a uh, very first um, virtual server. Um, so we're going to sort of we got available of um, we've got loads of disk spaces. So we're going to say we're going to we're going to start it as um, a 400 gig partition itself. And uh, store virtual as a single file or split virtual disk into multiple files. So we're just going to do. 
So there's different ways you can do split it to make it easier to move the virtual server to another computer, but may reduce performance with very large disks. Um, so we're just going to store it as one single file. So and here just confirms. So we we've got it signed um, a standard uh, as two uh, gigabyte, or two yeah two gigs of RAM, um, it's natted and all that sort of stuff. We can customize the hardware itself here, which we can do. We can say right, okay, we're going to give it more RAM. So for this one, we're going to give it. So we've got loads of RAM in here, so we're going to give it um, at least four gig. Uh, to start with uh, number of processors, uh, number of cores. So number of cores, I'm going to give it two cores. Uh, that's fine. So that gives it a bit more oomph. Uh, virtual CPU performance counter. We'll leave those as standard. Um, what else can we modify on here? NAT. See on here is it's different. Um, NAT. You've got NAT uh, to use a shared share the host IP address. So what it basically means Windows 10 is installed on this box so you can share that IP address so we, we don't want it to share the IP address we want it to be independent of its own um, custom card so we're going to let you do custom specify a virtual network so we're going to do that one um, and we're going to click I think do bridge connection directly to the physical network Okay, we will do. Sorry, bridge. So we will do this. That um, this is. Sorry, this is one. I mean, sorry, bridge the connection directly to the physical network. So that way, it will create its own IP address. Uh, and we won't go for the advanced stuff. We will just leave that as is. So we're happy with that. So I'm good with that. So click next and click finish. And then this just then hopefully start a boot screen. So here, keyboard hooked up. Yeah. Click off. Click OK. And then it should then start the actual install which is doing in the background there we go Windows installing and it's as simple as that so we'll run through the install and you can do further customization on the, the Windows install itself but very very quick it should be installing set up for starting fantastic Now start copying the files into the virtual disk itself that's created. Like hundred percent. So copy is pretty quick. So it's getting ready to install the install files. So if we did it from DVD, it would be probably twice as slow. And there we have it. We have um, Windows 2000 server installed and it's quick as that. That wasn't actually very long actually. So for this point almost you get the VMware tools set up. So this installs the VMware tools. So this allows it to interact with VMware nicely with all the right settings and stuff. Which is pretty cool. This this um the VMware tools installs all the default display drivers and audio files and all, all the bits necessary to run this because it's what makes VMware really nice when you move this image to another VMware. Um, it's it's not plug and playing any new hardware because it's identical in theory. So it doesn't matter whether the physical hardware is um, a different machine. Um, VMware always shows it with the same sound card, same display card and adapters, same network card, all that sort of stuff. And that's it. So what we need to do is install some remote control software onto this so we can access this remotely. But yeah, that's Windows 2016 installed, nice and easy. And we'll go through uh, customizing uh, this install. Um, to get it up on the network and make, set up uh, AD, DNS and all that sort of stuff on here as well. But there you go, so that's straightforward, that's our first um, virtual server installed. It's as simple as quickly as is that. So long as you've got an image file, the image file makes the install much much faster and obviously Windows 2016 obviously a lot different to previous Windows versions so it installs nice and um, fast now. So from this point onwards I can then go ahead and uh, check all the updates that are installed um, we'll make sure it's um, picked up and been activated with this serial key as well and we can then start configuring that and we do that in our next video setting, setting up DNS, setting up um, Active Directory and having this as our first physical server so thanks for watching guys if you like that thumbs up um, don't forget if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button check back our previous um, videos as well have a look at those around and we're doing some, some more tutorials 
on VMware because uh, we're going to be setting up uh, a farm print server, an exchange server and a SQL server and we're going to set up some desktops on here all on this bit of hardware so we're going to have uh, lots of different um, tutorials all coming through all this week and next week so thanks for watching guys and remember hit that subscribe button cheers for watching